Hello friend, welcome back to the Tom Maintenance YouTube channel. Here you can see with me 2001 Toyota 4Runner which had recently check engine light on and some technician scanned the computer and said checked code P1135 as a air fuel sensor heater circuit on the bank one s1 cleared code and recommend replacement of af sensor so let's go together if the sensor is really bad and how to replace it and the first basically we have to find the location of b1 s1 right so if you look here, this is the AF sensor, right? Right here. It's in front of this catalytic converter. And if you follow back, there will be another one, which is the B1S2, right? This is the S2. It's a heated oxygen sensor. So I'm looking back on that AF sensor and I'm looking for the wire and for a connector. So I will disconnect it right here, so right. you can hopefully see that sensor it's held to that exhaust pipe down there with a two nuts. Anytime you work on the exhaust parts, it's always a good idea. Use the penetrating catalyst. Right. Now I will wait a few minutes to let the catalyst work and then I will start removal of these two nuts and the AF sensor and this is 12 millimeter range right somehow I think I got lucky today these nuts seem to be cooperating with me and I believe I will have a relatively easy time of removing those this is awesome I would love to use this ratcheting 12 millimeter, but this is too thick to fit there, unfortunately. Here is a detail of those two nuts. I'm still zoomed for you on the sensor itself, and now I will carefully lift it up. All right, here we go. Now let's go and take it on the bench. Here you can see both units, the old one on the left with this spacer, right, which is there, the gasket, right, I removed that and the new one is on the right, of course, the gasket is in the box. Here you go, now it's finally complete. And now we have finally comparable situation, right, and I can really measure the old one, both of them are cold, right, None of them has any heat in it. This is cold. So let's see. You can see hopefully the display. Let's measure the brand new one, right? In this 60 Fahrenheit approximately temperature, which is here. What will be the resistance of the heater circuit? And it is 1.8 or 1.97 ohms, right? It's right there. Let's see the bad one, where the Toyota technician said, bad, bad, replace, replace. What will be the numbers on the heater circuit, the one which I'm taking out? And was I right thinking in the car that it's good? Look at it. It's a 2.9, 2.8, 2.7, 2.6, 2 right? It's completely different actually in this range it matters because it really regarding to the manual i'm reading it right here at this temperature it's between 0 0.8 and maximum it's a 1.4 ohms so this is confirmed right this o2 sensor is bad and it needs to be replaced right now so I'm ready to install the new one. Obviously, I will use that spacer, right? That needs to go there or the washer, gasket, 
whatever we call it. So let's go and do it. And here you can see the detail, right, of that place where I will be putting it. Let's try with the light, is it better? Yeah. And of course, before I will put those nuts back, I will put anti-seize on those threads, so it's easy in the future to remove again, if it will be needed. I first clean all that penetrating oil right away. I don't want to have it uh, sitting around. So that was cleaned. The sensor is in, as I said. Now I will use that anti-seize. And this is what I use on any exhaust parts, right? Because it makes it easier in the future where the threads are involved, right? Um, it's easier in the future to remove those bolts or nuts, whatever is in that application. So you put the anti-seize and you start putting it back. The Toyota manual says the torque for these bolts it's 20 newton meters, right? I don't know how you're supposed to get a torque wrench here, but that's okay. It's a number. So if you will be doing it, you can try. I will just gradually go right, right, left, right, left to make that gasket going down even, right? I will just feel it. As I said, there's not much space here. Both nuts are tight enough. So now it's time to connect, right? That electrical connector, which is right here. So just again, pay attention to the detail that everything goes nicely together. Click and attach it to that little hanger here that it's not just freely flying around so this is perfect and that's done now i have it nicely running so i need to check right if i have any check engine light or any codes but without me doing anything look the emissions are perfectly ready right it's green and there are no codes at this moment or pending or whatsoever so this is perfect and by the way i have complete tech stream unit the dealer level tech stream coming by the fedex it will be here today or tomorrow so we will definitely have way more videos on a detail right detail procedures using the tech stream and what is remaining is to go on the test drive and confirm that everything is working correctly before calling the customer that the job is done. And I would like to show you we are getting more and more busy with Toyota, so make sure you are subscribed because more videos are coming soon. Thanks for watching today. Have a, have a good day my friend.